myself, uh, Dr. Shweta Jain, first year PG scholar, Department of PG Studies in Kaya Chikitsa, Government Ayurveda Medical College, Mysuru. A very warm welcome to everyone. It gives me an immense pleasure and honor to host this virtual event, Rukka Prakasha 2023, a national level webinar series on kidney disorders. As a part of Golden Jubilee celebration organized by the Department of PG Studies in Kaya Chikitsa, JMC, Mysuru. Uh, from the far past two months, we from the Department of Kaichikitsa are organizing the national level webinar series as a part of Golden Jubilee celebration. Uh, we started with the national level webinar series on Ayurveda cardiology, it is Rudaya Prabhu 2023. Then with, we continued with the Mano Prabhutva 2023, a national webinar series on mental health. And now we are on the first day of uh, national webinar series on kidney disorders. Vrukha Prakasha 2023, uh, which will be continued for the next two days also, that is on 28th and 29th November. Kidney. Our kidney are the vital organs that uh, clean our blood and affect many different bodily functions. Various medical conditions can cause kidneys to stop medic uh, working properly, like uh, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, hypertension, and so on. So kidney disorders have been become significant growing public health problem responsible for the substantial burden of illness and even premature mortality also. In Ayurveda, it is given much importance as a kidney, including the bladder, is considered as a vital organ that is marma. Importantly, the kidney disease progression may be curtailed if the disease is diagnosed earlier. Hence, detection and the management of kidney disease, whether in acute or chronic stage, in early, reversible and potentially treatable stages are of paramount importance. Uh, with this brief introduction on today's webinar, now I open my welcome and salutation to the eminent personality of Ayurveda and our guest speaker for today's session, Dr. Srinivas Patil, sir, CEO, Progen Research Lab, Ayurveda Pharmaceuticals, welcome. I welcome you, sir. I also extend my respect uh, to our principal, Dr. Radha Krishna Ram Rao, sir, our HOD, Dr. Maitri Arsima, HOD and staff of all other PG studies of GMC Mysuru. Lastly, I welcome all the viewers who are virtually and actively participating in today's webinar. And now I request Dr. Pooja Biji to give an introduction and welcome sir for today's session. Thank you. No, I cannot hear this.
sorry for the interruption again om shri gurubhyo namaha good afternoon i extend my warm welcome to you all for national webinar series on kidney disorders day 1 of rukka prakasha 2023 organized by department of kai chikitsa on the eve of golden jubilee celebrations myself dr pooja bg first year pg scholar department of kai chikitsa gmc mysuru i am obliged to introduce our today's chief chief guest dr shrinivas patil sir ceo progen research laboratory ayurveda pharmaceuticals belgaum sir has completed his bms from bmk ayurveda mahavidyalaya belgaum in 2001 sir has also received his post graduation from the same institution in the department of rasa shastra and bayshudya kalpana in the year of 2005 presently sir is ceo of progen research lab ayurveda pharmaceuticals belgaum also an famed ayurveda practitioner at shri ayurveda belgaum sir has been served at different parts of the nation some of them including as a reader at ragunath ayurveda mahavidyalaya west bengal as a assistant professor and guide of post graduates at bmk ayurveda mahavidyalaya kl university belgaum as a principal at gomatesh ayurveda medical college belgaum as an technical advisor at amrut pharmaceuticals sir is renowned for his expertise in the field of ayurveda he is also serving as an advisor at wilderness nature resort goa at shankar sankal bhumi farm resort belgaum sir has diverse experience in formulating ayurveda external and internal medicines sir has received sadaka vaishishtya award from his proud alma mater bmk ayurveda mahavidyalaya sir is always known for serving the poor and needy community for which he was awarded as lion of the year 2014 by lions club belgaum for conducting free diabetes mellitus checkup and treatment myself i am extremely glad to share that sir has presented paper on male infertility at tcam conference held at world trade center in dubai in 2013 sir has also given a guest lecture at tcam conference middle east Na Na natural and organic product exhibition dubai in 2013 sir has published various research papers one such relevant paper for our today's session is effect of nephro liquid in the treatment of chronic renal failure today i surely believe it as a proud privilege of kai chikitsa to have such an eminent personality with us sir will be dealing with the topic of clinical experiences on ayurveda management of chronic kidney fail kidney disease with this brief introduction i wholeheartedly welcome you sir and handing over this platform to you uh, please proceed thank you so much uh, yeah thank you doctor uh, i think i am audible to all of uh before starting my uh, this clinical experience on managing kidney disorders i would like to say uh, i would like to ask uh, organizers how many uh, audiences are listening to or uh, attending this seminar because i am not getting any numbers here uh, as you know it's very difficult for uh, speaking in front of the screen unknowing is uh, knowing uh, who is looking at you and it's very difficult for me because i, I basically i am a stage speaker and uh, giving a webinar is very difficult so a little information if you can pass me on my whatsapp it's okay uh, uh, before starting my lecture uh, i would like to give whole heartedly thanks to the organizers of this particular uh, seminar webinar uh, and uh, especially principal of jmc and uh, hod of kai chikitsa dr maitreya thank you uh, i will i will start my talk on this uh, what subject that is uh, ckd chronic kidney disorders uh, i will not be going through uh, details of the classical text which we found in ayurveda we have very less uh, information we can found on directly on the urka but i would like to uh, stress maximum of my talks uh, this particular uh, this one webinar 
uh, only on my clinical experience what type of patients i used to get and now then how i develop something and what ex uh, what outcome we can expect out of that because if you just as a clinician if you sit in your clinic and a person you a person comes to you approaches you uh, somebody refers you or by uh, just a, a chance taking a chance for pur purpose a patient approaches that anything there which can be managing kidney disorders because as just intro introductory uh, this one do one uh, doctor has said that diabetes mellitus and hypertension these are the biggest cause nowadays in society as you know you are aware that both these causes are the lifestyle disorders ayurveda mentions it as a something like yapya and same way we have to take it this kidney disorder is yapya only because it's very difficult to manage very difficult even digest also that i am suffering from chronic kidney disease so when a person starts with the diabetes he gets one mental uh, agony that okay now diabetes started i have to manage it with the medications and the instructions of doctors and years together he will be facing that and one fine day he will find found himself that my kidneys are also getting compromised because of my diabetes this is this this is the scenario in today's era that medical era what we consider and there are very few less answers for this very few less very few means something like uh if you just ask the contemporary uh, science specialist in this particular field they will say that there is no medication for this there is no cure for this we have to just maintain with some techniques like hemodialysis that is the only answer you will get from any contemporary uh, specialized uh, like nephrologist or uh, urologist you just found nearby you so this is the exact scenario what going on when i started my uh, clinical practice like something like uh, 18 to 19 years back and uh, uh, as my introduction tells you that i am just not a vaidya or physician i am even a pharmacologist and a person from the pharmaceutics so in both the way i am i am going to just uh, stress this on how we can manage it sorry for my language and i cannot be very technical with as it were terminology one because uh, 10 years i am not in the teaching so if you just ask me that what type of dosh and this is, i will just try to explain it but it's very it will be very difficult hope you will understand and uh, try to understand in the way you perceive it okay uh, but the, the, i am damn, damn confident that whatever experience i am going to share you can implement in your day to day clinical that is the main uh, motto of uh, this one my uh, this one sharing of this experience that we should get a confidence of treating chronic kidney disorder that will be one particular point and i will just go through this uh, all these things on thinking at the same point only so when i started my clinical practice Uh, i was getting many uh, diabetic patients and the society as you know that uh, urban society maximum of the diabetic people will be having their uh, one mental uh, this one acceptance that we have to manage diabetes by medication or diet this one and, and once the once the diabetic always the diabetic we know that and now nowadays lot of reversal of diabetes and all this is going to be on but the way the patients are treated diabetic patients are treated that is the main cause because many times what happens as you know you are aware that uh, polyuria is the maximum uh, uh, the, the the cardinal sign of uh, our chronic uh, diabetes polyuria or uh, you know that prabhut avila mutrata that is the one particular uh, what we consider in ayurveda that is the main sign of this one lakshan of diabetes or chronic uh, so that that itself explains you that there is some involvement of kidneys or your mutra was so such that is excess amount of our in layman's language i can explain that is one excess amount of your sugar which is not used in the body which is remaining in the body as it is it will be thrown outside of the body through our mutra was so such because there is no use of that uh, sugar body will try to throw it outside through kidneys only and kidneys will start working day night 
no doubt that they are they working day night but day night under sense just like uh, for example one labor is working one part of one shift one person who is a worker and if you tell that person that you have to work for uh, another one shift or continuously working so one fine day he will say that no i cannot work now because he will try to spray, go for the strike the same way our kidneys responds to the complication of diabetes that is excess amount of sugar this is a layman's understanding of how kidney disorder start the i explain my patients in the same way that what how it happens uh, if you go in technical terminology uh, there is a nephron a loop globular filter uh, filter is there and then there is a crystal convoluted tubule proximate convoluted tubule and the loop of henle and if you explain that person in that way that how diabetes will trouble the that person is not is not going to understand you have to explain that person that this is the cause that excess amount of water is taken out from your body because it has to throw out excess sugar which is remaining in you so you can understand that exact what exactly it is something like uncontrolled diabetic patients as a complication develops diabetic nephropathy or even i have seen many times patient try to control in by any means and but still a chronic diabetic person one fine day develops there is a problem with the kidney if we just exactly go through that what it will be there will be a filtration rate will be reduced glomerular filtration rate is there which is fixed which is more than 50 we consider as that okay normal but once it start coming uh, less, less than 50 gfr uh, you will you will find that okay that person is having a compromised kidney and what are the uh, exact parameters we can diagnose see i am finding that amongst all the kidney disorders which we are facing right now 85 to 90% patients of these kidney disorders are having a reason behind it is diabetes so you can understand that diabetes is the maximum or uh, contributing factor rest of other things like for example hypertension somebody mentioned yes of course hypertension is also one of the cause for that uncontrolled hypertension for very longer period like more than 10 to 15 years it can lead to the chronic kidney disorder as you are aware that kidney disorders are we can be converted uh, this uh, classified into two uh, broad uh, this one classification like one chronic kidney disease and another is acute kidney disease so chronic kidney disease is something like which is having a lot of uh, reason behind that it's not like that uh, one or two days it is started and suddenly your kidney is got failure but acute renal failure there is a definitely a one or two days uh, cause or one week cause the complication of any uh, infective disorders where sudden there will be a uh, hit on the kidney filtration a small example two to three days 100% hydronephrosis 100% partial partial i am not talking 100% uh, hydronephrosis which will which can like something like which uh, um, which can be a reason that is calculated a uh, stoppage of uh, uh, urine passing through kidneys and then there will be a hydronephrosis it can also increase the toxic level of the kidney and sudden there will be failure or any uh, drug abuse sudden drug abuse which can lead to or even a, uh, cardiomegaly or ca- cardiomyopathy something like which or even any uh, complications like liver cirrhosis or any other things uh, some complications which are there which can lead to sudden kid- kidney disorders or this uh, one that can be classified into acute renal failure or acute renal cause but in, if when when we consider chronic kidney failure okay chronic kidney disorders there are uh, under the broad uh, head- headers there is diabetic neuropathy nephropathy then uh, the uh, the ckd because of the hypertension and some of the reasons like uh, like nephrotic syndrome and all which can be a, something like uh, like hereditary cause or something but broadly we can classify that diabetic nephropathy and the hypertensive nephropathy uh, or ckd is the major causes for renal disorders and then how is something that when person approaches that he is suffering with the ckd usually now nowadays what happens 
at your clinic when patient approaches it will be referred by somebody either from the those who have taken treatment from you and getting good results they will that those type of patients will refer you some other patients which will be uh, something like it's a very very common nowadays and even the doctors those who are saying uh, seeing you that they are you are practicing properly and you are having knowledge good knowledge of kidney disorders handling they will refer you that okay you can just go through because uh, still till today we are not yet developed in nephrology branch in ayurveda we have kai chikitsa definitely and uh, kai chikitsa is handling very nicely many of the disorders which are chronic but nephrology as such which is a very special branch only with the kidneys where even even, even uh, description what we get in the classics are also very less here uh, i would like to stress on this particular like whenever there is a question mark comes in front of ayurvedic why that that what type of uh, signs and symptoms and what is the reason behind it what are the nidana and what are the lakshanas of kidney he will first think of the person first thing that there will be mutrapracha mutrahar we just try to try to correlate with the mutrapracha or mutrahata with kidney disorder i would like to correct here that can be one reason mutrapracha but that is the urology related more urology related Uh, description is available in Mutra Kulchi and Mutra Ghat. But if you really want to just search for this, what type of kidney disease and descriptions are available in our classes, very few books are mentioning. Uh, one book, which is known book in pharmaceuticals, I wrote somewhere, which is called Panna, that is Bhaisheja Ratnavali. If you just open Bhaisheja Ratnavali book, there is a chapter that is Vrukka Roga Dikar. In that, you will get very less description, but very clear cut precise reasons lakshanas and way of sampratti vigatana how to do it it is mentioned there vrukka roga dikha when i was treating some diabetic patients accidentally i was just trying to know that what exactly going through that and one one patient showed something that his renal profile which i am just concerned about that that is diabetes is another concern but the renal profile is also not good right for example if you ask me what are the parameters objectively we can say subjective parameters i will just go through or signs and symptoms i will go through but objective parameters like pathological reports biochemistry if you just say that renal function test what renal function test can be significant here if you ask any nephrologist he will say that serum creatinine and serum urea or uh, blood urea nitrogen serum uric acid and the electrolytes these are the major Uh, parameters which we can get the precise diagnosis of our kidneys or uh, kidney problem uh, as we all are aware that serum creatinine increase that usually we have 1.3 1.2 to 1.3 uh, mg deciliter per, of our blood will be a normal c normal parameter for our creatinine level and similarly uh, below 50 of urea we consider of 45 some parameters 45 below 45 urea is considered if you just go through what exactly this creatinine and urea urea as you know that is one of the toxins which are prepared in our body which has to be thrown outside of the body through urine only once our kidneys get compromised they cannot filter this properly we will start getting retention of this urea and even creatinine creatinine is our nothing but the protein which is produced out of our muscles and organs our muscles and organs are producing whenever they are we are getting exertion they will it will produce a creatinine which is a, a toxic material which should not be uh, retained in the body for more than particular level once our kidneys get compromised this particular creatinine and urea will start accumulating in our body when we check it through blood so we will found that okay this is so what is this what is the significance of this particular marker if it is mo- more than 1. 3 to 1.3 to 1.5 or uh, creatinine or urea uh, more than 50 or more than 45 is considered as the something like your kidneys are if you just open the book of medicine any medicine they will say that this is the significance of your kidneys are getting damaged slowly uh, if you just open the atchison medicine that they will say that unless and until 50% of your kidneys are compromised creatinine will not come up for a longer period like you can understand a person who is 
uh, definitely it is something like even age is also one factor because uh, quite elderly people they will say little above the normalcy of the creatinine level but a normal person who is a diabetic and uh, like in his uh, late 30s he must have started with the diabetes and now after 50 years or 55 60 years like almost 15 to 20 years diabetic and once they are his kidney is getting involved in the, the diabetic ne nephropathy his creatinine level starts increasing like 1.3 1.2 1.5 1.7 2.3 sometimes 5 like that and maximum we can get uh, I think I have, I have seen most complicated patient who is bedridden and not never treated like a you know, CKD. And I don't know what is the cause of that person. Recently, I come across he, the person is from the Bangalore and the relative called me that his creatinine was 26 or more than that also. But 26 was the present and urea was more than three, 200. So I was surprised at how that how the person is still surviving because this type of uh, toxic uh, condition either a uh, person may survive more than 10 or 15 days but uh, such type of things we can come across in our day to day clinical uh, practice but usually we get above something like 3 or 2 or 3 or 5 levels of creatinine and the urea is something like 4 to 45 uh, something like 70 to 80 it's a very common pattern when we start getting reference for the treatment of the nephrology or the kidney disorder so when we start getting such thing we have to say that okay this is this is the condition but we have to stick to the particular what exactly the reason there are if the reasons are different definitely that we have to change our style of uh, this treating also because as we are aware that diabetes is maximum involved in that we have to think in that way only that what are the conditions of other organs also we have to think and even the hypertension also but if there is a hereditary cause or any drug abuse like cause, we have to rule out in a different way also. Uh, first, I will just try to concentrate on the diabetic nephropathy and uh, hypertension related uh, kidney disease also. You know? So once we start getting this uh, uh, type of kidney dis disease, first we have to have what exactly the recent parameters showing and what are the signs and symptoms person is. Uh, actually exhibiting usually uh, if some if somebody is getting down just uh, write down that these are the very cardinal signs and symptoms what we found in clinically that is facial edema pedal edema nausea anorexia dyspepsia uh, constipation then uh, many times there will be patients with uh, something like uh, other uh, organ involvement like even we will found that there will be a slight involvement of one liver function also. So there, uh, there will be something like sometimes very rarely we will get the uh, person with the uh, chronic kidney along with the chronic kidney. There will be uh, involvement of one liver also. But usually first appearance there will be uh, this particular parameter, this one lakshana, that is facial edema, that is mukhashrotha. Uh, Pedal edema, Pada Shotha, which is a pitting type of edema, which is not having any pain there. So just see that. And uh, if you just go through that, sudden there will be a gain of even weight. And the patient person will be looking puffy. These are the, if the person is exhibiting some signs and symptoms, this will be a clear cut, uh, this one. Like uh, like by, on the darshana, we can diagnose a patient that maybe he is having some problem with the kidneys. If you go through then parameters like the serum creatinine, and urea, uric acid and all, then there will be definitely increase in inside. And there will be a very common, that is uh, like hypoproteinemia in that. Means proteins will, proteins will be getting destroyed, vital proteins will be getting destroyed. And there will be uh, like uh, another parameter, there will be lesser proteins in the body. And urine will be throwing protein. If you just check the urine, there will be a lot of urea proteins found in the urine. So these are the signs what we get. Uh, signs and symptoms what we get in the chronic kidney disorder even in the similar way the hypertensive patient also exists but nowadays many patients if you found that there will not be any sign and symptom of this particular type of uh, this classical this one 
uh, there we have to be dependent on the subject to objective parameters only there is serum creatinine and serum urea and if you just go through that a person becomes uh, uh, the sickly person uh, another 3 to 4 months or 6 months chronicity person will be having uh, lesser urea even hemoglobin so there are uh, for the treating there are very uh, very common parameters i will mention here one is serum creatinine serum urea the second is hemoglobin hemoglobin because as i mentioned that there will be a destruction of vital proteins in the body our hemoglobin is the most vital protein everybody understand that and that will be also reduced in this so you have to always keep in the mind that these particular four parameters like three i told you serum creatinine serum urea hb hemoglobin and fourth is very important that is serum potassium because if you just open topics or any articles which are present or uh, journals of nephrology electrolytes are playing a very important role in the treating kidney disorders in that potassium if you just potassium is the one particular uh, mineral if it is lesser there will there are some symptoms in the issues more there are some symptoms signs and symptoms usually in ckd we get more potassium retention because kidneys cannot filter this electrolytes properly there will be lesser chlorides lesser sodium and uh, increase amount of potassium is very common and why i am stressing this particular uh, potassium like mineral here because there are patients i have seen they can withstand with the creatinine and urea level up to maximum level but little increase in the potassium uh, it will it will come to their life because as you know hyperkalemia if we this the this the potassium get increased more than 6 mg per deciliter definitely there will be a stroke to the heart there will be a sudden attack on the cardiac muscle and you you may get a person uh collapse because of not by the kidney because of the many times it happens and this is the there is a maximum reason patients either lung gets failed or the heart gets failed heart failure sudden cardiac uh, failure because of the hyperkalemia is the very common uh, cause of death in the ckd so that's why we have to be very very careful while seeing the diagnosing the patient and the potassium is high we have to stress on the diet also i will just come to the part that part uh, afterwards but that is the, these are the four things which we have very very common in diagnosing one is serum creatinine second is serum urea third is serum uh, uh, this uh, potassium and hb because hb plays a very important role of a, a vital role in uh, our day to day life if hb is lesser than 8 coming take a take it from me that patient is not going to respond to any of the treatments what we are giving because his absorption of the medicine also very coming lesser when hb is less and there are a lot of false parameters shown by patient when we diagnose try to diagnose because any anemic patients there are a lot of biochemistry changes because of the less uh, amount of hemoglobin present in the blood so we have to think in that way also because and patient symptomatically becomes very weak when once the hb goes down so that is the these are the four parameters we have to be all, keep in always in the mind that we have to check every month of uh, any uh, interval of 15 days whenever patient approaches you now coming that what type of treatments are available in the contemporary science that's why patient turns to you because there is a common practice in nephrology once their toxin level goes up late you know if you just uh, if if you just ask any surgeon friends of yours if a person's creatinine level is 1.3 still surgeon thinks it's a normal thing but still still the surgeon thinks whether to go for the surgery or not this is a very common practice every surgery let it be a very non invasive surgery also surgeon will think because that is the reason the toxic particular toxicity of our blood surgeons cares to operate on the patient so that's why and we get patients with about two only always so 
it is now you can understand that the person's physiology is completely changed the person is having toxic level in the body or toxic toxicity in the body which we have to treat now when a person comes to you with symptoms or without symptoms what about what should be your approach first you have to give assurance and educate a person that you should not get scared first you know that is abidan we have to give that person that see you are not going to die suddenly it's not something like once you start with this particular thing either you have to be a depend on the hemodialysis or daily dialysis something like thing and to avoid that you want that's what that's why you came here to ayurveda and uh, you are having lot of uh, uh, hopes on the ayurveda that i am going to get cured as i mentioned that as diabetes is yeah it's complication is also yeah ckd is not at all a curable disease it is a maintenance of your daily glomerular filtration that is the gfr should be maintained properly for a particular level of toxicity in the body and patient can live without any complications for longer period that, that that is the same way you have to educate a person and person's relatives that this is see doctor has given you a choice that you have to start with the switch of fistula in your arm or uh, neck and uh, start coming for the dialysis because your toxin levels will be higher always which is not going to be good for your heart lung or other organs then they they will say that you have to come for that but you ask a person who is on daily dialysis daily dialysis in the sense every 48 hours or 72 hours person will put on the hemodialysis what is hemodialysis nothing but a chemical filtration of your blood through a machine a layman's language we have to educate that person that see that is needed whenever it is a life threatening if a person's toxicity level is very high and person cannot withstand with the toxicity which is there at uh, that particular level then we have to filter the blood and make that blood uh, livable you know understand that day to day what is needed that's why only this nephrology uh, special hemodialysis technique is evolved there so as a person who is on the this regular dialysis uh, that person will say that i have to go there wait for 4 to 3 to 4 hours for the in a waiting and then 3 to 4 hours of dialysis will be started you ask that what will be his condition no he he is always he is already suffering with the toxicity and there will be lot of uh, even no you know, weakness and the malaise in that particular person in that after dialysis he is susceptible to many things first he will uh, he will be having a lot of malaise again and there will be a chance of getting infected also because he is exposed to some other machines like things which where blood is going outside water maintenance will be there in that and there he is he is again we are putting the person on uh, the verge of any infection which any bacterial opportunity a bacterial or viral infection can enter in the person and then again he that's why again like, there are a lot of shots of uh, uh, antibiotics and uh, hemopoietic injections will be given to this person so ask that person what is the life he says that just i am living because the machine is working that will be one one type of that there will not be any life at all what i mean to say that is a human life is getting there something like so uh, monotonous that person cannot do any other thing living this dialysis those who are having a lesser amount of toxicity and they are on the regular dialysis still they can maintain but the little higher amount of toxicity and persons already losing hemoglobin vital things he cannot live properly so there will be a, something like they will say that i am just living in the hell nothing that and that's why they opt for the other things which having having hope of cure but here i want to men- mention that there is no cure in the ckd you cannot 100% correct your kidneys but definitely yes if a person's uh, this prognosis is what i'm going to say person is having a good amount of withstanding capacity and something like he understands what exactly medicines are going to do so you will get a period of window period just before dialysis to putting the person on the regular dialysis and that window period can be pulled on for a very longer period you'll surprise that it's not longer period means something like 2 to 3 months or 6 months 
I have seen in my practice, last 10 years to 12 years, I'm practicing on nephrology, definitely. Like from, I can understand, I can, uh, I can, I started understanding the nephrology in my way since 2009 or 10. And we developed one particular product, said Nephro, N-E-F-P-R-O. I will just go through briefly in, uh, afterwards. But that product, when I started giving one to our, when we started treating with that particular uh, product or such type of uh, approach, we increase the window period of that particular person. Some persons have responded more than three to four years or five years. So person didn't require dialysis till he started suffering with the CKD and the nephrologist have already taken a call that he has to be on the regular dialysis. Uh, it's not like that they never require any dialysis. They may they, they must have required dialysis once a while when there are some type of infection started and then uh, usually I will, I will I'll mention that usually there will be involvement of lungs because you know that this, is, this has to be something like related to a retention of water. When there is a less bromelar filtration, unnecessary water retention will be there in the body. And that water retention leads up to the pleural effusion. Once that pleural effusion starts, person will be having dyspnea like uh, symptom or breathlessness. And he may catch up with some pneumonia like infection also. And there, there is there is a there is a there is a some part of dialysis comes where immediate dialysis is required to reduce the toxicity. Such type of uh, in that window period also such type of incidences happen, but that cannot be said as a regular dialysis like thing. So you just person who is already been told by an nephrologist you have to be on the dialysis, and if you increase the window period without dialysis just by maintaining the med on the medicines, you know that will be achievement we can say in this particular field because. Uh, if a person is without dialysis, 10 years CKD and maintaining all the parameters within some acceptable ranges, that body is accepting that particular parameters. Like for example, in my opinion, a person who is symptomless, not having any symptoms more, and his creatinine level less than 5, that person can live just like a normal person without any dialysis, regular dialysis thing for a very longer period. Even with the urea, if the urea is less than 50, uh, 60 or uh, 70 or 60, that person can live without dialysis for a very long period. Just like, for example, in that HB I was mentioning, if the person's HB is in between 8 to 9, above 9, there is no problem. But if it is lesser than 8, definitely there will be a problem. So there we have to have a little uh, help of nephrologist there. But if the person is maintaining more than 8 HB, if the person is more maintaining below 5 creatinine and uh, below 70 urea, person will not be having any symptoms for very longer period. Person says that, okay, I am just pulling up and then there will be a normal style of life will be there. Person can uh, even roam, go here and there because, you know, when person is put on the regular dialysis, little exertion also increases creatinine. That type of thing will not be there when you are treating with the herbs or any herbal material or uh, Ayurvedic medicine, I can say. So this is the thing where we have to take a call. We have to have, develop a confidence in ourselves that, okay, I can treat a CKD in this way, telling a patient and patient's relative, educating them in that way, and confidently you can go ahead with that provided there will not be any something like misdirection and uh, i have to get cured in the kidney disorder that's why they will be again uh, going to the some other uh, sciences or any other uh, doctors also there you have to educate that any science which is there till today has not given a clear cut cure like thing for the kidneys kidneys are nothing but the sponge like you did i just i have mentioned that they are the the group of uh, your nephrons, the basic unit for the filtration. So just you can just uh, correlate your kidneys with the reverse osmosis machine. You know what reverse, reverse osmosis machine is there, RO machine for your water filtration. Good things will be retained and uh, excess things will be thrown outside by separating them. So such type of special things are there in the, our loop of uh, this one, like loop of venlage and glomerular filters, filters and even in our this one, where our blood will get separated from the toxic levels and 
vital things vital things will be retained and toxic levels will the toxic substances will be thrown outside so like that kidney our our kidney works so if you just explain your patient that this is the some, something like which we have to maintain in proper way patient will develop a confidence on it. and in first or two first uh, course or of 15 days or uh, 30 days if patients get some relief out of your medicine they will stick to you believe me that i have some group of patients like more than 3 to 4 dozens right now they are sticking to me last 1 to 10 years like new patients are now stick to me like one or two years but the some patients are there like one or two or dozens they are sticking to me nine to 10 years without any complication very less complication they have faced they are just believing me and blindly going ahead so the such about experience i got in my clinic that we should develop confidence in our own practice by perceiving ourselves like in that way that this can be managed in that so just i have given one example that how a uh, uh, few of the parameters how we we can start with the practice now little technical will enter i have just told that diabetes and uh, hypertension diabetes usually these are the parameters same way hypertensive patient also giving the same but there are some medications which is already patient is taking now you will ask me that what to do only we have to 100% start with our own medication or uh, uh, ongoing medications we have to be there because a person who is non diabetic a person who is diabetic and non hypertensive after some years of uh, diabetes either he will develop a hypertension or it is a very common thing or uh, because of the renal involvement there will be renal hypertension and the patient will be having uh, hypertension definitely and hypertensive renal involvement or ckd there there are they are both are vice versa you know because of the hypertension kidney involvement will be there and there will be lesser uh, filtration and because of the lesser filtration because of more toxicity there will be renal hypertension so i say was both are there and because of that there will not be any control uh, you know uh, pressure of your blood pressure of your uh, this patient so uh, nephrologist already or uh, their cardiologist already has given that they have to be on the anti hypertensive and there will be there they will be on the hypertension and then they will approach you so at that time what you are going to do that you cannot stop any of the anti hypertensive medicines which they already taken or they are taking it you now you have to manage them along with their integrity approach along with their own medicines because their nephrologists or cardiologists are not going to allow them to be on the any ayurvedic medicines along with this their patient choice it is a patient choice i say that it is you on you that your doctors are not going to allow it because they are not knowing about what exactly we are giving and uh, you laugh on that because there will be a first question from the nephrologist they when they get the patient they will not ask that whether you are diabetic they will say ask that whether you are taken any ayurvedic medicine in fast that's why your kidneys are getting compromised that is the very common questions now uh, last 10 15 years i am seeing that nephrologists ask the patients first because they get such type of experience also because they must have found some uh, self medicated like thing which patient is taking continuously or some unknowingly some medicines are given to the patient by our even waiters or even uh, non registered medical practitioner also even we do many times some mistakes that which should not be given for very longer period we go on giving and such type of things will happen because i am not talking only on the heavy metals heavy metals are something different subject but that will be a approach of nephrologist towards any type of uh, uh, this kidney disorder patient they will ask this question and they 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 try to educate patient that not to get any ayurvedic medicine but there our duty comes that we have to tell we have to assure a patient that we are not going to give any such medication which is going to trouble your kidneys but for hypertension there is not hard and fast medicine available in ayurveda that type of hypertension i'm talking about the person who is having uh, more than 200 by 120 or more than 180 to 100 uh, uh, mm of hg of the blood where we have uh, average blood pressure is very high and that's what patient is suffering with there they, we have to be depend on the anti hypertensive of that particular persons which is on going on so we cannot change it 
and all of a sudden so we have to but we have to educate that person that you you should continue then what exactly the nephrologist will be giving to the other other medication which will there will be you, know, you should just go through the file of uh, any person who is coming with the ckd there will be at least minimum five to six medicines he is going if he is a cardiac patient there will be another medicines but if you diabetic patient two to three anti diabetic hypertensive patient one or two have anti hypertensive here five already happen then Uh, because of the hyperkalemia thing like thing there will be a metabolic acidosis there are chances of getting metabolic acidosis to avoid that person will put on the soda soda bicarb that is sodium bicarbonate like soda like thing then persons uh, bone marrow will be get, getting some problem and the bones will be getting uh, uh, degenerate very fast in the kidney disorders and even the bone marrow plays a very important role for regeneration of some some of the kidney system so that's why patient will be put on the vitamin d3 There are there are session of giving probiotics to the patients of kidney, so one probiotic will be there. So such type of you will you find that such type of institutions will be there, but and definitely there will be diuretic, no no doubt because higher amount of diuretics will be put to just throw out the excess amount of water which is present in that. So these are the these are medicines which already patient is taking. In that you will be again you have to work on that, and as I mentioned in Bhaskar Ratnavali. Whatever may be the reason, diabetic hyper, uh, this one diabetic nephropathy or hypertension, Vaishya Ratnavali was not having that uh, uh, knowledge of whether because of the hypertension or uh, this one. But it has clear cutly mentioned in the Nidanas, uh, Lakshanas, that person is because as I have mentioned that person will be having shots, that uh, the pedal edema and the facial edema that it is mentioned and Nidanas uh, group of Nidanas mentioned there. and there what vishesh ratnavali mentions that we have to treat because when our mutra was with us with along with kleyadava and uh, even uh, our uh, doshas like this is in doshas mark but more doshas which are involved here what we can think in that vat and uh, kapha it is vat kapha jal and which is going to give the drift to the rakta and rakta dhatu is also involved here so you can understand the This one, Dushu Dushya in and Bhaskar Ratnavali in this way, and it gives the Lakshmanas like what I mentioned previously, similar way. That besides Lakshmanas mentioned in that, it has given a very clear cutly that if you want to just get rid of these Lakshmanas, you have to just give a patient uh, Shodan Shaman both. They are mentioned. Patient is uh, you have there. Bhaskar Ratnavali mentions that we have to treat patients with the Virachana. So, uh, our own famous Nepal variation, we can up for there because which will reduce the toxicity. Obviously, we know that. And for Shaman also, this I mentioned those which is having mutual action, karmas, mutual drug, rasayan, rakta prasad drug, dipan pachana, and virechak. So, five types of karmas, any herbs which possesses this. Group of herbs. If you just mix together and start giving that, they will definitely work on the CKD. What are those? Deepana Pachan, Virechaka, Rakta Prasadaka, Rakta Shodaka, and these Rakta Prasad, Rakta Shodaka definitely work like a sign. So these five types of uh, herb, five types of karmas, any medicines possesses. Like let it be herb or even metals also. But in the Vishesh Ratna Valley itself. It is meant. It has mentioned that there should not should not be given any rasa, rasa drug. That means mercurial and mercurial preparations. If if anybody is thinking that mercury can be uh, because after the surgery, Karana or Swadhan and properly preparation of rasa sindhu and all, we can opt for the chronic usage in CKD. Definitely no. It is mentioned because of that. That reason only it is mentioned. Some types of metals. Which is at now only allowing. You will surprise. What are those? Are Swarna Vasma, Rajat Vasma, Swarna Makshik, and Loha Vasma. So Loha can be a very vital uh, this one. And there are some uh, even researchers have mentioned and which is at now only Sarvato Bhadra Pati. One or two companies are preparing that. This is in the market. This is the Swarna Kalpa Sarvato Bhadra Varas or Sarvato Bhadra Pati. Which is also having such type of action, like one mutra, second is rakta prasad, and third is uh, like uh, 
different person like that so our what i mentioned is our nephro which i produced first because of the as i accidentally started and when i started producing it then i went through that this reverse pharmacology i could understood by bhushi ratnawal itself but these are the things which is already mentioned in our text we have to completely practice it when you know some contemporary science and when you just know what exactly going on there and what we can uh, adopt and uh, give a option to the patient and if you just give a assurance to the patient definitely patient sticks to you i have just mentioned you that bhushi ratnawal has given clear cut this particular type of way of treating vrukaro that is kidney disorder now we have to apply to both the things like chronic kidney disorders even the uh, acute kidney disorder also in i will say that acute kidney kidney treating with such type of approach is very very easier i uh, practice it also patient suddenly goes into like uh, uh, there will be a, jump in the parameters even patient develops complication patient will be in the icu if you are able to treat that patient along with icu's help if not on much chemicals ckd sorry uh, 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 akd that is acute renal kidney disorder or acute renal failure we can treat very easily there's no no doubt at all and it is treatable 100% because there will not be any damage remain in the even kidney but ckd when along with diabetes or even hypertension if you have such approach definitely you will be having lot of uh, success in that and that can be man man managed very easily that can be very very easily it's something like you have to stick to the assurance and patient education is very important uh, coming to the next part that is this is the thing we have to approach and next part is very very important that is educate a patient with some diet because i have seen those who are having uncontrolled because lifestyle is the major cause here of diabetes and the hypertension i told you even diet plays a very important role such some type of diets which are not at all good for their, their kidney and if they go on giving getting it definitely their your your uh, approach and your medicines will be not having any value there and the patient's uh, condition will not be getting uh, properly maintained so there we have to have a proper diet what i mentioned to my patient that they have to cut off the maximum proteins from their diet higher proteins now you will ask me what is the this is something person is having already having a hypoproteinemia usually your nephrologist tell in that way also some patients will be having hypoproteinemia so they will put the person on the proteins more and many times you and i have seen that diabetic patients instead of diabetes and getting nephropathy they will produce a nephropathy because of the high amount of protein diet because i have seen such type of patients in the diabetes they will never consume a, not a single uh, grain of uh, carbohydrate and a single drop of uh, oil or fat they will live fully on the proteins only because they will be having a, that madness in that proteins will be good for the diabetes and they will be put they, they will be doing only protein uh, consumption one point that they will found that their kidneys are getting compromised and they will blame diabetes but here diet is also very important so higher amount of proteins should not be given so what is the source of higher amount of protein uh, that is animal source so will it be a non vegetarian or even uh, vegetarian uh, this one like milk products and all so milk is a very simple protein it can be easily digestible for the kidney disorder patient but once it becomes vicar like mm -hmm. gadi you know acha sukam sapna sukam dadini mention it's not dugdani mention here in promea dadini means it's vikara vikara means something like higher proteins will be develop in that vikara so the dadhi paneer cheese khoa and other medical products like things if they are having consumption more we have to cut it off because this is the reason again your uric acid also because uric acid is one of the toxic which is also increase in the ckd so these are we have to cut off maximum level non vegetarian diet like uh red meat and the white meat both both are also having uh, same way that they will they will be contributing in the kidneys uh, this one problem so <laughs> we have to mention a patient that we have to be a vegetarian now you have to convert yourself in on the vegetarian once a while you can consume like soups and all but maximum you have to cut it off second very important salt free diet means salt free means 100% salt we can stop but 
definitely it's a person normal person 3 to 4 grams or 5 grams per day they are eating we have to cut off the persons uh, kidney disorders persons uh, sort by 10 times less than a normal person like only 500 mg to 1 gram maximum salt can be okay for the chronic kidney disorder patients you have to educate that person in that way even high complicated food or even the processed food or outside foods which is having a lot of uh, oils and all we have to educate patients that be on the very simpler um, food which can be digested very easily so traditional simpler food is dal roti chawal that is the best or uh, any sabji so such type of three times eating is okay and the water intake very important person should not be lesser than person should not consume lesser than 300 to 500 ml per day for 24 hours not lesser than that and not more than 1.8 liters it is mentioned because if you just go through that the kidneys are easily filtering this this amount of liquid in between because something like if it is lesser than 300 ml you last what i am mentioning by 3 or 4 or 500 ml if it is lesser than that consumption of liquid is there in the body urine getting concentrated there are a lot of concentrated things which will be very difficult for kidney to even complications like even renal calcula starts in the ckd if they are drinking very less amount of uh, water so that's why minimum amount of water has to be there that is 500 ml i mentioned for 300 to 500 ml and maximum more not more than 1.5 to 1.8 or maximum 2 liters and that is on the season we have to opt because in the summer season person feels a lot of thirst and there will be uh, should not be a dehydration uh, that's why we have to maintain that but if there it is more than 200 but the kidneys get again problem for the filtration if it is more than 200 ml uh, sorry 2000 ml per day that's why we have to educate person that it has to be in between this and if this is properly maintained because uh, even salt i said because salt is because uh, the main source of uh, potassium and potassium we have to maintain if this particular diet if the same diet if the person maintains and he instructs he gets the instruction properly from you and he follows that confidently he can live for a very longer period without any dialysis like this dialysis when it is required because if season and the diet and also even some complications happens in the patient of such particular uh, when, when you are maintaining the person usually what happens water retention in the body more happens and i told you that lung infection will be there a lung infection because of the pleural effusion we have to be on the again patient has to be admitted get admitted into icu and if it is required tapping and the in the pleural effusion required or maybe on higher diuretic person can be treated but there for to, to, to reduce the toxicity level patient will be put on the immediate dialysis there patient person can be maintained by nephrologist so that's why nephrology uh, and nephrologist will help you in that way maintaining the patient but if patient is sticking to your instructions i have seen not a single patient will be something like getting a complication like this and then they will be put onto such type of again uh, emergency this one the provided patient is following you uh, without any uh, this one and those who follow that there will not be any problem now what do you have to consider because as a doctor you have to be judged to the patient patient many times they say that as, as doctor i cannot eat properly there are a lot of people there are surrounding me and they are eating all these things but i i am i'm just then, then you have to say that see if you want to survive for very longer period you have to otherwise you will be again put into trouble and you have to get admitted or you have to you have to be on the because you have to little scare to the give the scare to the patient that you will be put on the dialysis unless until you do that patient will not uh, listen to you that that is another thing but if uh something like what we consider that patient is very younger hmm? because living hemodialysis what is the next option available because many times we can do it from 10 to 15 years because i have the experience of 10 at least 10 years to 12 years of treating disorders this kidney disorders but if the person uh, person is having just below 30 age and whole life is there in front of him. 
there is another option available of kidney transplant which is a little complicated uh, procedure and very costly procedure but if it is possible to the patient you have to counsel the patient in that way also in future you may require a transplant if it is possible try from right now only because transplant is another option which we can uh, promote in a different way but it is not possible for each and every patient but in case of patient is younger if patient is more than uh, 50 you can say that we can pull on for another 10 to 15 years or 12 20, 20 years but patient is if it is lesser than 50 and he has a uh, uh, whole life in front of him i have seen because young patients approaches you you can maintain but if you are not uh, Counseling the patient in that way also, they will say that I, I stuck to you, but uh, you, you, you said now now you I, I cannot help you more than this. I was having that option of transplant also, but I didn't go for that. I wanted to get my own kidneys to be corrected properly. So you have to educate that patient in that way also that this can be maintained properly, but hundred percent getting cured, hundred hundred percent your all nephrons are replaced by your medicine not possible. As for my view, it is not I am not seen. in this uh, 12 years of uh, 13 years of experience of uh, treating kidney disorder but if you properly uh, educate that person patient is affordable and lot of legal matters are also made involved in this particular thing but patient is if affordable and patient can do that they can opt for that but even in that case also patients uh, the luck is also very very more there because i have seen one patient one one patient one my patient who is who was only 26 years old Uh, recently uh, when i when they approached me i was treating that he was 70 26 but 27 28 he he went for the uh, kidney transplant his uh, elder brother has given that and then i found that after 5 to 6 years he again developed some problem with the uh, the surviving kidney and uh, that was not something like it was not responding and they they again opt for the ayurvedic thing we try to do that but didn't uh, the kidney didn't uh, give any this one like uh, respond and they, uh, ultimately there was a death so within half, uh, hardly 6 to 7 years he developed every again uh, all complication and and it was a case of nephrotic syndrome it was not something like developed because of some disease or something then uh, we can think that because me, unless and until you see maximum maximum patients of such category you cannot come to a conclusion because even treating n numbers of patients you have to categorize them that what type of uh, category is in front of you whether they can be with medication or with along with dialysis medication because i have some patients which i could uh, reduce their dialysis interval that is also one achievement we say because the person who is already on the three times dialysis in a week if we can make the dialysis one time or two times per day or per, per week or 10 days patients say that okay that is because my toxic level toxin levels are because chronic dialysis patient will be very lesser responding you his kidneys are already compromised dialysis is going on that's why kidneys not having any pressure on them there will be a lesser amount of filtration which is going on through kidneys and your medication not going to be working on that but still it works so that category you have to make and treat them as, 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 in that way and uh, that is i am doing and i am getting at least 50% of my patients are responding speaking to me what i say 50% drop out will be then 50% percent, percent patients will be not coming to you back after that but that 50% speaking to you is also one of the achievements if you see because what other things contemporary is giving is what you giving is better patient are telling that way and you know as a physician you will get fame and even recognition in the society that a person who is already bed bed ridden a doctor is saying that okay dialysis is also not possible right now and this person is suffering from uh, last 6 months uh, ckd and uh, not opting for the dialysis because of the threat of dialysis of uh, dialysis uh, life threat that person if because of your medication of 10 days he again starts his daily routine he will tell another 10 15 patients of such category such of experience i have already gone through and that was the only this one like what i say to youngsters or those who want to enter in this nephrology field these all points which i shared you keep in the mind 
I must have left many things because I have, I have not gone through the flow of that particular thing. But stick to that particular thing, you will get the success. That was the only thing. I think already I talked uh, one hour, and uh, I think I have to stop here and wait uh, for the next uh, another 10 15 minutes for the questions which audiences are you. Still, I was not, I am not knowing that how many people are listening to me. If now organizers can tell me that how many people listen to me or listen, was listening to me, uh, I'll be happy to know that. Uh, I think uh, I have to stop here and I'm switching over to my, uh, this one, to organizers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing your clinical experiences in the management of uh, kidney disorders. Uh, it was a very informative uh, session. Yeah, how many, how many, uh, uh, sir, the session is uh, live on YouTube, sir. Mm -hmm. But can you know that uh, how many are there present? Uh, sir, it's okay, 17, sir. Yeah, any uh, prepared questions from your side or any students, those are present now, we can, they can ask me. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, can you wait for a few minutes, sir? I think uh, they'll post yeah. the questions now. Okay, okay. So one question has been posted okay. on the screen. Sir. Yeah, what are the basic Ayurvedic medicines which can be used to treat CKD? Okay. Uh, as I mentioned in Vaishya Ratnavali, if you just go through, or in common practice, single herbs you can combine. Single herbs in that way, it is Punarnava Gokshur. Okay. And uh, these are the very uh, common single herbs which can be uh, used in the CKD. Formulation as such, Gokshura the Google. Somebody will say that Chandraprabhavati also, but uh, I, my choice of drug is not never a Chandraprabhavati. I will I have some other reasons for that. But Chandraprabhavati can be also definitely used in the CKD. But in uh, this one, Gokshura the Google, then uh, you know, diuretic group, you can add many diuretic group in there. Then Rasayan and uh, this one, like Rasayan and Raksa Prasada group. Uh, usually, I, I treat it Gokshura the Google and the formulation which I mentioned you, that is Nepro, which is having a, uh, 18 herbs in that. 18 herbs, which is something like uh, Punarnava is there, Gokshura is there, then Jatamansi is there, which is also not major Rasayan, but also diuretic. Then Ashwagandha as a Rasayan. Uh, Rakta Shodak, like Manjishtha and uh, Vrungaraj, Rakta Prasadak, Sariva as a uh, this one, and then uh, Rakta Prasadak and Rakta Shodak. Then even uh, Deepan Pachan Viration, for that purpose, Trikatu and Trifala you can use. Then uh, even for the Viration purpose, you can use some uh, laxatives like uh, even uh, Swarnak, uh, Swarna, uh, this one Patri, that is uh, Markandika can be used for that. And these are the herbs we can make a combination in a quad form or even uh, what you form or capsule form it can, it can be given. And Sarvata Vajra Ras, I told you that that is available in the market. Swarno Basma directly can use in the complicated CKD. So this can, these, are the, these are the medicines we can, can be used.
uh, yeah sir you have adopted any kind of shodhana in your practice in which management of security if you are uh, swedana and virechana swedana followed by virechana you know there is something like arun kama snehapan also can be given given with uh, any type of gurutas like uh, or uh, acha gurutas also can be given uh, this one or even uh, usually tanantara uh, this one like uh, this what we consider uh, usually i prefer brahmi gurutva for the this one here uh, for snehapan and acha gurutva usually many times acha gurutva i use for the snehapan but shodhana i do very lesser uh, i have put many times uh, regular virechana like uh, once in a week lot of uh, one uh, one combination is there from my own company uh, uh, laxal uh, capsule or even uh, narachurana can be given or even trivial rudra leha can be given uh, sudden virechan purpose but arun samas nepan as vedana and virechana these are the very good for the different shodhana of the shodhan karma for this one and uh, Yeah. Uh, next is up to which serum creatinine level we can manage. I have I told you that up to twenty. I had a patient of twenty serum creatinine and even urea is more than one twenty. So that we can uh, along with Ayurveda we can because in a span of uh, coming ten to fifteen days. it drops to lesser than 10 and if it comes to lesser than 10 and the patient is standing properly there will not be any problem so creatinine level is not a very big issue here i told you the issue comes when potassium increases and the hemoglobin falls down that was the major issue then next is which are the scope of what whether the any scope of ckd associated in the scope i told you sarvatha vadra rasa associated can be used but maximum the metals you cannot use by any lead or uh, arsenic or even uh, kajali like rasoshadhi with kajali or rasasindur the mercury is one of the ingredient you cannot use there but sarvatha badra bas is having swarna bas main that rajada uh, bas main that and swarna bas bas main that you can be used can be used properly and low bas low bas definitely uh, choice of drug there yeah. sir have you adopted any kind of shodhan i told you exactly up to which level of serum creatinine we can i told that ckd with the pulmonary edema can be managed yes uh, ckd with the pulmonary edema definitely can be managed along with the uh, our this sarvatha badra like uh, this one i have seen a milder pulmonary involvement if you give higher amount of this uh, diuretic like thing i told you uh, and uh, even if you can manage with the Uh, Shwasar and Kasar medicines in available in the area. The pulmonary edema can be managed, provided the patient's standing capacity is good. If patient is ours to collapse, we have to refer, get ICU admission, and then wait for patient to be okay. And once the patient is okay, again you can start with your regular medicine. Sickle in general, definitely, definitely there is scope in the sickle in the children. Usually, the forty syndrome is the cause for the sickle and the hereditary one. I have. i know at least six children which i am treating last five years when they were in the their four age of four now patient person is uh, the patient is 11 year 12 years without dialysis we are managing them in ayurveda how to manage ckd patient with their electrolyte imbalance again the same the water content i told you how much how much amount of water and many times i have seen many formulations which are containing even uh, char in them Many times, diuretic we have to give char is the choice of drug what we consider, and when you go on giving, when you are giving a charas, like example, uh, one chara which is very uh, evak chara and uh, this combination of sajik chara, evak chara, and sajik chara is nothing but the soda vaika which modern science also using, but even uh, kalmi soda like thing, kalmi soda is nothing but the sudek chara, we are potassium. So if you are giving a potassium chara in there. to maintain the uh, imbalance of electrolyte and suddenly if potassium increases very difficult to manage because there are you you are putting person on the is like a atom bomb they need any time person can collapse so you have to be very careful 
uh, when a patient because but these medicines will maintain because i have seen such type of combination will maintain the electrolyte imbalance also there will not be any problem but as a diuretic if you are using the shara you have to stop that some of the combinations in the market claiming that they are having uh, very good effect on the uh, this ckd and if they contain shara i will i'll be very uh, because i am not saying that if they must be a competitor for my product but i have seen i have used shara in some of the ckd and uh, they may produce a complication sir which medicine can be prescribed to prevent the progression of ckd to renal failure does rasayana helps rasayana i mentioned you are definitely helps because rasayana is definitely going to uh, amla ki rasayana tipali rasayana chavan prash definitely there because if the patient is non diabetic chavan prash can the patient the patient will not be a ckd person but rasayana is going to help you maximum of our herbs are giving a rasayana effect antioxidant effect so those who are there because something like simple amla ki rasayana i mentioned you that is, that is the best way to uh, practice amla ki when you continue with the amla ki rasayana or the person who is on the nishamla ki it was like a rasayana also person those who are consuming nishamla ki very less chances of producing renal failure how to prevent hypertension nephropathy allopathy anti hypertensive with diuretic effect like 10 mesartan hydrochloric acid safe not or not managing hypertension with the ayurveda medicine helps see i told you managing hypertension uh, very difficult for from uh, ayurvedic medicine if they are maximum hypertension like for example if the person is already have developed uh, diabetic additional complications of kidney because of the hypertension and the hypertension patient is not getting reduced with any anti hypertension also there is no doubt this tenmesartan and uh, hydro, uh, this one hydrochlorothiazide has that uh, is having effect but as you are already giving it uh, since beginning if you cannot stop it because once you stop the person will become an, again uh, hypertensive more so along with that you can some counter it with some your ayurvedic medicines ayurvedic diuretic type thing and manage them but if already on the uh, anti hypertensive uh, medicine you cannot stop them once you stop you will get a problem treatment of patients with the protein losing diabetic and uh, endocrinopathy with a normal kft uh, and hb9 presenting the bowel in front of the sequence and open a dependent edema in the bilateral sweat and legs since 2 years uh, normal kft but the uh, hypoproteinemia as you are mentioning and uh, there will be bowel in you can try with the same medication there is no problem i have many patients with the similar medicine i am giving there is a lot of uh, pro- this one like all symptoms will be reduced there will not be any problem so the, this bilateral feet and legs this one bilateral bilateral feet and legs edema within span of 15 days it will be reduced there will not be any swelling so you can go with the uh, same same medications what i mentioned right now sir in which condition the surgery should be avoided Uh, which rasoshidi you are using that is first thing uh, if the rasoshidi are containing mercury in that for any type of kidney disorder they are not good for timing one or two dose okay but more than six doses i have seen three third fourth dose patients start getting little complications more like for example there will be if the person is having uh, uh, symptom like this uh, And, and nausea, vomiting, and uh, pedal animal like thing. And if you just start with one yoga, which is containing uh, uh, rasa sindur in that, I have seen once uh, one one of my colleague was treating with the rasa sindur containing thing because the uh, pleural effusion and all because uh, this one uh, they were opting for the swasta symptom like thing and already sickened his patient. So I found that once once he started with this uh, this one rasa rasa sindur and rasa all this one. suddenly within third or fourth dose this all symptoms increased person was able, no, able to not consume any food so th- when we stop the switch is again the patient this so this is on the basis of clinical thing and right? parameters wise we definitely there will be increase in the urea now so we should not be so uh, this one like within one or 
two days also this can be uh, this one problematic and even the antibiotics let's just like as associate antibiotics plays very uh, bad role well, one three doses of antibiotics of any antibiotic which is in the market 500 ml 500 mg increase your kft uh, uh, this one uh, uh, this uh, uh, creatinine and the urea level yeah sir which what type of minimal range of rh rft which is indicated to start with the treatment if the person is uh, having le lesser uh, this one filtration trait like uh, it is lesser than you, gfr is lesser than 50% you have to start the uh, this one and i told you that uh, raised creatinine level if the creatinine is more than 1.5 you have to start with the treatment it's not like that uh, let the person with come with the symptoms then only will start If the creatinine level and the urea level is more than their normal for very longer period, one or two days okay. But if once you repeat it uh, another five days, and again still if you are getting persons urea and creatinine higher level, you have to start with the treatment and know the reason behind it. This, uh, may, may, knowing the reason behind the uh, increase in this is very very important. If a person is diabetic, straight away blame diabetes only. If person is non-diabetic, search for any is. Uh, other uh, uh, causes like any other uh, disease or any other uh, infection like things okay you have the mention yeah, you have mentioned we can manage acute cicd with ayurveda what is the objective knowledge you have considered in managing acute cicd i didn't what exactly objective values because uh, the same objective values which i just mentioned that is sudden increase in the all uh, renal parameters these are the objective values we have to consider we can start with this uh, acute ckd with that ayurveda medicine uh, is there any difference different management plans for the drugs in this ckd see drug and dose ckd similar way uh, similar way but the toxicity will be more because the drug toxicity is the major cause here so you have to have more variation there keep the plan in that way diuretic and variation has to be more in there is there any scope of ayurveda ongoing dialysis patient yes i told you i have many patients that i am treating ongoing dialysis patients are there they 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 are getting referred to me that they are, they are continuously uh, on the dialysis any every third day they are going for the dialysis once we start our medicines their this one toxin level toxicity level is not going to get get up and there is less amount of Uh, dialysis is required, so we can just increase the or uh, uh, lessen the frequency of dialysis. Means something like a person who is already on the dialysis. If you start with the such medications and uh, wait for these uh, this one reports, if reports are getting um, not getting worse and after stopping on the dialysis also for two or three days, you have to just wait and watch, wait and watch, and fix a parameter that once in three or four days or five days. or 10 days also like that and we can manage that so reducing the frequency of dialysis is also one of the achievement here sir uh, is there any possibility of reversal of ckd in early stages early stages something like again the what is the reason behind it is very important i have seen if uh, some underlying cause some uh, little chronic infection is producing such things definitely there will not be any problem for very longer period we can consider that ckd is because one or two months person is suffering with the uh, kidney parameters because of some underlying cause like infection or something if that is that is corrected this will be okay there will not be any permanent damage but the the reason itself is the ckd is result of like diabetes like thing 100% reversal is not possible as per my experience i don't know when there are many learned people those who are already treated treating if they found that 100% because uh, making the person objectively and subjectively free from any symptoms and the parameters it cannot not be considered as the 100% reversal because uh, a person I, I, what my opinion is a person's medication is stopped and again same conditions happen that it cannot be considered as the reversal it can be understood by any person so i don't think so ckd can be reverse 100% we have to maintain it for very long period
Mutra frame for the urination, sir. That is maybe a higher amount of proteins present in that Mutra frame will be there. So because of the presence of uh, uh, this one proteins, vital proteins will be thrown outside the uh, body through urine, and that will be producing muthorphan. So you have to check for that if proteins are present plus 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 mentioned. That is because of that. How to manage CKD with associated with the other pathologies like hepatorenal syndrome? Definitely yes. There are some Ayurvedic medicines which can treat liver disorder very confidently. We have to mix together. Uh, I have a very ideal combination of my, my own formulation that whenever any person comes with the both renal involvement and the kidney involvement, we start with that combination. Usually diabetic patients, I have an anti-diabetic beta capsulin of my company that is uh, all my common di anti-diabetic uh, herbs are there in that. I have Carmelu capsule of uh, for liver disorder, which I treat right from cirrhosis to uh, infective liver disorder. I use that also in such conditions. So that is also common. I have common uh, herbs like katuki is there, uh, amruta is there, bhumamlaki is there, and that even bhumamlaki is there in our nephro also. So all these three combination, three to four combination, we can go for yeah, hepatorenal syndrome. There is no problem. Uh, if metabolic uh, acidosis like thing or even uh, metabolic syndrome. We can treat very easily with such type of approach. What I mentioned, that approach is applicable there also, not only for the CKD. Okay, yeah. Sir, any medications you have been using increase HB levels, specifically in kidney disorders? I told you, low was not. Low combinations, dhatri loha, or rakta prasadaka like thing, which will increase. And definitely, you know, whenever you are treating kidney disorders, if Deficiency of HB is there. It doesn't mean that HB is not forming there. HB is forming. There are destruction of HB because of the proteins are getting disturbed. So once you stop that, your HB levels again get managed because of the ahar and ahar. We have this one. But still, we have to continue with some of the medications which can increase the blood. Uh, prasada like thing, like you know, I told you this Manjista, Sariva. Uh, Vasa. Vasa is also very best here and even uh, Rasayanal. Our Rasayanal increases HB and low Vasana, definitely. Okay. Sir, how to manage potassium depletion in CKD? I told you that you have to be something like this combination will manage the even hypopotassium, potassium, uh, hypokalemia and hyperkalemia also. So, just continue with that, but don't use any chara there. Once you, you start chara, there will not be any control of these things. So all these our mutral dravyas, mutral rasayan, rakta prasad dravyas will, will manage your potassium depletion. So could you give us a brief information about your research product, Nefro? Uh, just go through our website, uh, projanresearchlab.com. Nefro's all information will be available if you just Type NEF, N E F P R O, it's not N E P S P R O, N E F P R O, Nephro Capsule or Nephro Liquid. You will find the articles on that also on open public domain. Articles are there. And it, uh, all its combinations are also because if I go on telling that again, 10 to 15 minutes, I have to talk on that. So definitely, Progen Research, P R O G E N Research Lab.com, you can just visit. Okay. Sir, how to treat patient having security that to con Retinal level 3.5 along with the diabetes. Uh, 3.5, I, I have mentioned up to uh, 20 uh, creatinine also you can use this. So whatever medicines I mentioned you right now, you just open Vaishya Jaratnavali book, right? In that, Rukka Rogadika, whatever medicines are available, try on them. Definitely I have used them and I have got all results because of that. Some combination I made, and that is that has become a proprietary this one. But the base is Vashya Jaratna Wali, Rukkarovadi. So, Gokshuradi, you Google, you can use there. Uh, you can use uh, Chandra Prabha, but also you have to see other things also. But along with diabetes, if it is there, you have to mention, you have to maintain his sugar levels also. So, uh, anti diabetic medicines also you have to give there. I do the anti diabetic medicine, I am telling. I am not saying that he has to be uh, depending on that. Provided 
it can control the this one if already on the dm dm is already on the anti diabetic medicines like metformin lumipride uh, oglibos or uh, other citagliptin valdagliptin like things it's i am just mentioning the uh, molecules of anti uh, diabetic uh, medicines which are there they are already there and they are controlling means you cannot stop them you cannot stop them and start with your anti diabetic uh, ayurvedic di anti diabetic medicines but you have to just be uh, just there see that whether they are maintaining their sugar levels or not if they are maintaining don't touch that part you start with only your cicad only uh, there we can use only that you should not be giving all medicines along with the same we have to be have a very choosy about the uh, time of administration like if the person is consuming anti diabetic medicines before or after food another half an hour one hour you can just uh, give a gap and start with your diabetic medicines you have to educate the person in that way okay sir uh, paradam marita basma are considered as best as you mentioned earlier it paradam marita loha basma see basma when they are prepared i am a rasa shastra vaishya kalpana student only i can talk on this for another half an hour if parad marana is mentioned and after marana if parad is not there definitely you can use them because as you mentioned that parad mari the low basma after basmi karana there is there is a because low basma requires gajapata or mahapata and on gajapata and mahapata no parad will be remaining you just understand that there will not be any remnant of any uh, paradas uh, molecule there there will be 100% uh, absence of your hardly ppm or ppb level which will be uh, before below permissible limit so we can use them there is no problem but where parad as such like rasa sindur kajali or patali or parpati is there which is mercury is present physically there we cannot use it thanks for that thank you thanks a lot uh yeah is the is the thanks a lot for the mutra fena sir okay any other thing yeah i hope i could uh, fulfill the requirement of all our audiences but very difficult to give a bull say like answer Okay thank you thanks a lot thanks thank a lot you. once again thank you sir thank you for clearing all the doubts and queries of our viewers and now i request uh, dr sanjay kumar sir professor department of pg studies in kai chikitsa to address the session Uh, sorry for uh, technical errors repeatedly happening this will uh, this are part of this webinar series so respected our uh, guest speaker sir dr shrinivas patil sir uh, the staffs on the webinar many postgraduate students on the webinar and also undergraduate students sir was repeatedly asking uh, how many students were there because he was on stream yard he was not able to make out the number of participants initially it started with 140 and i think uh, 100 plus uh, audience were there sir Uh, throughout uh, this particular uh, webinar uh, and more, many more people will be going to watch this uh, session later uh, that is the advantage of a youtube platform 
uh, okay it was very uh, the, basically the sir wanted to share the clinical experiences and uh, he was busy also he when i approached him he told that i cannot make a uh, what a uh, lcd uh, presentation uh, i just want to share my clinical experience but i agreed okay sir uh, what we important what is important for us is uh, somebody who wants to share their clinical experience actually conceptual presentations are uh, uh, somewhere you will get it and it is uh, quite easy and more academic but uh, when it comes to practice uh, what gives more uh, uh, motivation or confidence to the practitioner is the clinical experience sharing by star wars hence uh, we are very happy that uh, Dr. Srinivas Patil sir uh, very effectively communicated uh, his experiences in uh, uh, treating chronic kidney diseases. Uh, when it comes to uh, Kaya Chikisa, it is not like single drug management or being only Really, the word Kaya Chikisa because a particular disease uh, requires at different stages or involvement of multiple areas, like starting from primary prevention of uh, a disease to end the diet part and all. So he, he in, his, in his particular presentation, thrown light on all those factors which has to be considered for effective management of uh, kidney disease. Uh, as far as chronic kidney disease uh, is concerned, uh, it is usually a complication of many primary diseases as highlighted by sir like diabetes, mellitus, hypertension or uh, nephrolithiasis or sometimes the BPH unmanaged, managed not properly or repeated uh, kidney infection. Uh, these are all the primary diseases which finally in a longer run may uh, cause a complication of chronic kidney disease. As rightly commented by him, uh, we may not have a cure for this one because it itself is a complication and hence it is a yapya vyadi. And uh, he clearly highlighted that uh, it is all the manage, effective management of the uh, uh, kidney disease with primary disease management is the goal basically. So. Uh, the question answers were very good, I, I felt, sir, because students uh, wanted to ask if more questions are there, and they have uh, interest. So the students have shown their interest in asking very good questions, like uh, on the role of uh, Rasaushadis. When it comes to Ayurveda, we are blamed for kidney diseases that you are causing, uh, using many mercurial preparations and using it for a very lengthy period of time, like mandala, you give it for six months and all. And uh, the contemporary people start blaming us that, uh, uh, that every medicine in Ayurveda contains mercury, they think. It is not so, because uh, uh, even Rasavashati like Sarvapada Rasa or even uh, Loha Basmara, Svarna Maksha Goswa, are used by sir very effectively. So, idam magam siddhatva pratyaksha paladarshana mantravat samprayuktam nama imam sakadachana, like that some uh, quotation is there in our science that Better you follow every methodology starting with preparation of an effective medication in the society and start using as guided by our acharyas. We will be giving the result that uh, the treatment will not be futile. The problem is that uh, most of the time the raw material procured will not be of a very good one, and we think that uh, uh, the result may come. So, there are so many issues where uh, an Ayurvedic practitioner. Uh, may fail even he is a very good clinician he may diagnose a case but also when it comes to management uh, the lot of common sense are like i told you know the raw material starting from raw material procurement itself uh, there will be a problem so i think uh, it was very useful sir because uh, the, as a part of golden jubilee celebration uh, we want kaya chikisa to be a more specialty science uh, not just a general kaya chikisa samane kaya chikisa a person who treats every disease Rather than that, uh, we, when we start developing uh, nephrology in our Ayurveda, like uh, cardiology of Ayurveda, or neurology of Ayurveda, I think uh, that that's how the way that uh, as an Ayurveda Kaya Chikitsa uh, staff or like uh, people should progress, I suppose. With those intention, uh, that our department has started with uh, a series of webinars on specialty practices and uh, we've been contacting the people who are uh, basically practitioners uh, rather than the conceptual presentation we are more into practitioners sir and uh, thank you sir and uh, uh, it, it was very informative fruitful uh, presentation for us maybe students were more uh, wanted uh, ready prescriptions most of the time what happens is they want a ready prescription if, if this patient has give these many these many medicine that, that's why they are repeatedly asking what were the medicine what were the medicine and all uh, i personally also 
uh, treating uh, kidney disorders, CKDs, uh, not like uh, 20 and all, up to 6.7 and uh, total uh, creatinine levels very effectively brought to 1.7 and all. Uh, and uh, your product basically, uh, Progen product Netflo adds up more confidence to us. I've been adding it to my primary preparation as a long time prescription and giving uh, your capsules and uh, uh, liquid also and uh, miraculous results are expected and uh, thank you for uh, giving us a, such a wonderful product also sir so i did take this opportunity okay, thank you. once again so thank our uh, uh, guest speaker for sparing his valuable time you know i know being uh, uh, owning a pharmacy will be very busy uh, thanks for your, uh, accepting our invitation and uh, giving your valuable time i also thank uh, all uh, the staff or students uh, who who joined this webinar and made this grand success. Uh, thank you very much. And we'll be having a lot of thanks from uh, our students. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you for telling, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sanjay Kumar, sir. And once again, I thank Sir Dr. Shinivas uh, Patil sir for engaging in today's session and sharing your experiences. Uh, by this, now we have come to the end of our day one national webinar series on uh, kidney disorders. Uh, we'll meet again tomorrow at the same time, 2.30 p.m. And tomorrow's session is on the topic of uh, Dravya Guna based approach in the management of kidney disorders uh, by Dr. Jail and Shastri sir. Uh, by this, uh, let us end us today's session. Uh, thank you one and all. Thank you. Thank you.